Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Kamak. I'm the Advanced Academics Coordinator at Allen High School. Um, this PowerPoint is going to step you through all of the exam day procedures for those of us who are taking AP Human Geography um, at Allen High School on exam day. The AP and IB exam calendar can be found on the AHS Advanced Academics website. If you are unsure of the location or time of your AP or IB exam, please just ask. It is important for you to plan ahead and know where and when each exam is taking place. We are hosting a number of AP and IB exams all over the AHS campus. For those of us who are taking AP Human Geography, that is scheduled for May 5th at 8 a.m. in the AHS Competition Gym, which I will show you what that is here in just a minute. If you are taking another AP exam, please be aware of when and where that exam is taking place as well. If you are taking AP Human Geography and you have an approved College Board testing accommodation, you will take your exam at LFC. Ms. Vote will communicate with you if this applies to you. This is the um, exam calendar that is posted on the Allen High School Advanced Academics website. Like I said, those of us who are taking AP Human Geography, that's May 5th in the competition gym at 8 a.m. We are hosting a number of exams, like I said, over about a two to three week period. This is the rest of the calendar that can be found also on the Allen High School Advanced Academics website. AP and IB exa exams and Skyward attendance. You must provide your own transportation to Allen High School. You will be coded as testing in Skyward for the hours in which you are testing AP Human Geography, but it is extremely important that you get a ride to Allen High School and arrive at the high school no later than 7.15 a.m. in order to get prepared for your exam and sat for your exam. There will not be a bus from the Freshman Center to the high school. If you're going to miss your AP or IB exam for any reason, you need to email Mrs. Kimak, that's me, as soon as possible. We will discuss rescheduling your AP exam if possible. The College Board does sometimes charge a late fee of $40 for certain um, reasons for missing AP exams. This is why it is so important you take your AP exam on the regular administration day. There will be a shuttle back to LFC when your exam concludes. We will talk about that in a minute. This is the competition gym. When you arrive and enter the auxiliary gym doors, that's door 86, you will head to a set of tables where that arrow is pointed. You will take your ID, show it to the proctors, and get organized and sat for your AP exam. There's about 450 desks in the competition gym in this photo, photo. so it's important for you to know that you are going to a um, assigned seat. You will look for that assigned seat. They will be in alphabetical rows and then numbered accordingly. Proctors will be walking around the rows before and during and after the exam, so if you have any questions, you can ask them. Your enter entrance locations, when you arrive at 715 on May 5th for your AP Human Geography exam, you will enter the auxiliary gym doors. These doors, like I said, store 86. There will also be a poster that says AP exam entrance here. Checking into your exam, you must arrive early. You will not be permitted late entry to an AP or IB exam. Please have your ID ready. Your ID should not be defaced, mutilated, or split in half. Buy a new ID if yours doesn't clearly confirm your identity. You cannot enter with a paper ID. No personal items beyond what is indicated in this video are allowed at your seat, and you need to turn your cell phone off, not vibrate, off. Better yet, I encourage you not to bring your cell phone at all. Please make sure you actually sign up for, to take the exam. If in doubt, reach out to me or log into Total Registration to double check. When you arrive, look for the check-in table. This is where a proctor will check your ID and give you any necessary exam materials. Listen carefully to where the proctor directs you to go next. Like I said, you need to arrive at 7.15 a.m., have your ID ready, eat a good breakfast beforehand, and go to the bathroom. AP exams, what to bring? Your ID. You will not be admitted to the exam room without it. Several pencils, they cannot be mechanical. Bring an eraser if the ones on your pencils are missing or unusable. Blue or black pins for answering free response questions. A snack, which is optional but encouraged and the ability to read an analog clock as we will not have digital clocks in exam areas. AP exams, what not to bring? Mechanical pencils, scratch paper, dictionaries, highlighters, earplugs or earbuds, electronic watches, fitness trackers, wearable technology, and electronic communication devices, compasses, notes, books, 
Unlike star exams, you will not be allowed to read a book while waiting for others to finish nor the exam to finish. Clothing, shoes, or accessories with exam-related material and correction tape or correction fluid to mark out um, writing responses you want to uh, not post. When you arrive, you will receive a folder with your name and exam schedule listed on front. For those taking multiple exams, you will have a number of exams listed with different seat numbers. The folder will contain your AP ID labels and a multiple choice answer sheet. The folder goes with you to your seat and we will collect the folder at the end of the exam before dismissal. Your exam proctor will st step you through the required elements on the multiple choice answer document. Where as a reminder, number two pencils are only allowed on the multiple choice answer documents. Each AP exam pack is shrink wrapped. The multiple choice booklet and the free response slash SAQ booklets are shrink wrapped separately inside an outer layer of shrink wrap. You also have white seals in the exam pack. These are not trash. Do not open your exam packet with such force that the shrink wrap comes off of every exam section's materials. Proctors will collect shrink wrap and label, label wrappers from your desktop. Do not toss these on the floor. This is a picture of those seals that I was talking about. Those seals go on the top, the right side, and the bottom. Be mindful of time limits. We will dismiss you from your exam if you keep working after time is called. Do not wear a hoodie during the exam. You will be asked to remove it. Read each question and know what it is asking. Do not start writing with answer choices and work backwards. Bubble answers as you go. Do not circle answers in the test booklet with the plan to go back later and bubble as you will not have time. If you make an error during a free response or essay question, draw a line through it. Do not scratch it into oblivion and you are not allowed to use correction tape or correction fluid. Earbuds, AirPods, and earplugs are not permitted. We will dismiss you from the exam and your score will be canceled if we catch you with these exams with these items in the exam room. You may use the restroom during the exam, but you will need to be you will be escorted by a proctor to the restroom. Your exam time does not stop if you use the bathroom during the exam time that is not on a break. Students may not leave the exam area with, within five minutes remaining on the exam clock. And if you cannot read an analog clock or if you can't see the clocks from far away, please be sure to wear an approved watch so you, um, that you can read that does not beep. After your AP exam, you are not allowed to discuss multiple choice questions with anyone ever. Free response questions are released on the College Board website 48 hours after the exam, and you can discuss those at that time. Multiple choice questions are kept secret forever. Do not, under any circumstances, post exam content on social media. I can assure you the College Board will find out. 8 a.m. exams. You will board a bus back to LFC. After the, after the exam, you will board a bus from the AHS Auxiliary Gym back to the Freshman Center. You will need to pack a lunch. By the time you return to LFC, there will not be an opportunity for you to go to the cafeteria for lunch. When you arrive to the Freshman Center, go directly to the gym. AP exam scores are released around July 5th on a staggered schedule according to geographic location. Allen ISD is closed the week that AP exam scores are released, so Ms. Kamak, myself, or and Mr. Lemons will not be available to assist you. To retrieve your scores, log into my AP College Board account. Please be sure to put your username and password to this account in a safe place. If you lose or forget your username or password, you will need to reset them on the College Board website. We do not know nor have access to your account information. If you have issues regarding your scores, please be patient. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your human geography teacher you are also welcome to touch base with me. My email is lauren.kamak at allenisd.org. We are so incredibly proud of you. It's been an awesome year, and we're super excited for a great exam session. Best of luck on exam day. Thank you, and have a great day.